Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math 119. Math 119. We were just um, actually in the middle of talking about this problem, and I thought it would make a great movie for kind of back up. Uh, the problem is prove that the side opposite an obtuse angle is the longest side of an obtuse triangle. And that question followed one that we proved earlier, that the hypotenuse is the largest side of a right triangle. And what was the key idea in this proof, just real quick? Well, it was that... It was that squares of of real numbers couldn't be negative. Okay, and where did squares come in? Why did, why did squares? Because it was the Pythagorean theorem. So what's the key idea? The Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem was the key idea in here. Okay, and that meant squares had to be negative if the side was longer, so it didn't make sense. Okay, so we're going to use that somehow in this proof. So, why don't you draw an obtuse triangle? Alright, so... Okay. <laughs> the old elbow eraser. Okay, so there's our obtuse triangle. We're trying to prove this is the longest side. Okay. Just for this might make it easier. We'll just prove it. Let's make it ABC. Okay. Label it ABC. That's always a good idea to label your diagrams. So, well, maybe we can split it up. We can prove that AC is longer than BC. And then we can prove AC is longer than AB. Okay, great. Go so, ahead. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put, drop this perpendicular down here. Alright. To make this right triangle. Cool. Then, I'm gonna call this point P. Call that point P. So, from what we just proved, I know that PC is greater than PB and PC is greater than BC. But this one doesn't really matter too much because we drew in that. Oh, I see. Okay. You know that PC is greater than PB. How do you know that? Because of what we just proved. The Hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle. Okay, because PC is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. We also know that PC is longer than BC. Good. So this is the one that actually matters. Alright. So, and we know, it looks like here that AC is greater than PC. AC is greater than PC. Okay, why is that? Well, because you've got like this little bit here. Alright. Great. So, and PC is greater than BC. So because of this, and because we're assuming that all the distances are positive distances. <laughs> okay, yeah. Distances are positive. That's, a fun, that's an okay assumption. AC is greater than BC. And do you remember the name of this property? If I know that AC is bigger than P, PC, and I know that PC is bigger than BC, why do I know that AC is bigger than BC? I think that's the transitive property. That is the transitive property. Do you remember the the thing we did with the, where some things were not transitive? Yeah, like if like, you don't you don't have to write anything. What? Like we like we say. We actually did a project. We did a family math about something that was not transitive. Well, I remember we did we did one is greater than minus two. But one squared is not is not greater than minus two squared. <laughs> that is absolutely right. We have to you have to be very careful about inequalities when you do things to the inequalities, like square them yeah, is a good or, example. Or negative them. Or negative them, yeah. Do you remember our non transitive project though? I don't no? think so. It involves some dice. Our grime the grime dice? The grime dice. Those have weird properties that you want around in a circle. One dice beat another dice in a game, and, and that dice beat another dice in a game, but the other, the losing dice beat the winning dice. Yeah. That was kind of weird. Okay. Anyway, so that's great. So you've been able to show that BC is greater than AC. What are you going to do about AB? Well, I was thinking we can extend AB and then draw this coming up. Like that. Okay. And I'll call this point Q. Alright. So, and this is a right angle. So we that. have this big right triangle. Okay. 
and this is the hypotenuse, AC. Okay. We know AC greater than AQ and AC greater than QC. Okay. And this one doesn't really matter, QC, but this is the one I'm interested in. Okay. So AC greater than AQ means, well, AC greater than AQ and AQ is greater than AB because we extended this. Okay. Interesting. So AC is greater than AB. AC is greater than AB. Okay, super. All right, I just got a couple questions for you. So let's make this part B, okay? All right.